Well, Steve, the speech that I had written is not up here. That ought to make everybody afraid. We're here tonight to welcome a patriot, a fighter, a conservative, who speaks for the rest of us. The liberal media and the establishment has fought Steve Bannon long enough, and this room is full of supporters to lift him up and to send him back out to fight the fight again for the rest of us. I really don't have the speech in front of me, so you're going to have to you're going to have to correct me if I get it wrong. But he grew up in a working class family, born in Norfolk, Virginia, and then he went to a Catholic school, Benedictine school. Um, more important than that, Steve Bannon has served us in the military. He worked for the Pentagon, and while working for the Pentagon, because that wasn't stressful enough, there's the speech. All right, here we go, and I don't have my glasses on. I think I've said all of this. You went to Virginia Tech, too. You're very well educated. Didn't you go to Harvard at some point? Thank you, Congressman Norman. <laughs> After being honorably discharged from the Navy, Mr. Bannon had a successful career in investment banking at Goldman Sachs. Everything um, from the Pacific Fleet to Wall Street, with a detour through Hollywood, Steve Bannon has seen America, and through it all, he watched while leaders in both parties left behind hardworking Americans who follow the rules and used to be able to get ahead. For the past decade, Steve Bannon has been serving us in another way. He's been working for the men and women of this country who are busy building their businesses and growing their families, the ones who are too busy following the rules and chasing the American dream to complain about what they're not getting. In the last 10 years, Steve Bannon has been the member of the board of Breitbart News, the executive chair, <laughs> the executive chair and co-founder of the Government Accountability Institute, the vice president of Cambridge Analytica's board, and the architect of the greatest political insurgency in American history. Today, establishment politicians are shaking in their boots. The fake news is howling. And liberals are actually screaming at the sky. Because of President Trump and a grassroots revolution to drain the swamp, led by our guests here tonight. Whether it's in Columbia or Washington, the establishment, establishment politicians are hearing loud and clear that they work for us. We want less talk. We want less red tape. We want more action. It's time that we get what we pay for and make America great again. Tonight, I'm honored to introduce a man who has given our fight a huge megaphone and stood on the front lines with our president against the power and corruption of the established politicians, the stonewalling of the entrenched bureaucrats, and the tantrums of the liberal media. <laughs> Mr. Bannon leads the fight for the rest of us, a man who is leading a conservative revolution that has only just begun. Please join me in giving a really warm, big South Carolina welcome to my friend, Steve Bannon. <laughs> <laughs> 